Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours, so don't stay stuck with your business. If you wanna get in contact with me, visit description below this video. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me to get more help with your training business. So today I wanna to talk about one of the biggest and fastest growing niche in the sports training industry. So if you are in soccer or football, okay, this is a niche which I want you to take into account and I want you to pay, play, pay very close attention to because it is going to grow more and more. And the niche I want to talk about specifically is the women's game, right? So women's soccer, women's football. Now, this is a niche which over the last three years has grown, especially the women's football industry has grown at a really fast rate. Now, in the UK, so if you're a UK based coach, you would have seen that there's we've got now the women's uh, Super League, which is essentially the, the women's version of the Premier League in the UK with a number of teams now competing at a full-time level, right? So you've got a lot of players now, women, that are playing for those clubs who are now full-time athletes in the game, okay? So this is also becoming, and it's replicating in the US, where the women's soccer in the US, really and truly, it, it has always been big, and it's always been a lot more advanced than, than maybe Europe, and specifically the UK, but it's a niche where it's going to get more and more popular. Okay, if you're in the UK, okay, I want you to play, pay very close attention to the women's game because there's going to be a lot of investment coming into the game very soon. And when there's opportunities for a female athletes to go from grassroots uh, up until you know, the pro game where they're, they're able to play and compete on a full-time level and get paid for that, then what that's going to do is going to drive the interest for a training and not so much just training, but also a lot, of, a lot more girls are going to start to move into playing football and soccer. So if you are a coach at the moment and you're kind of, looking at what niches to focus on one niche i would definitely consider okay and when you consider it definitely consider specializing in is the women's game okay so you could create an entire training business around focusing on training female football players or female soccer players right now what you also need to remember is that a lot of coaches are probably thinking the same thing. And if a lot of coaches are thinking the same thing, there's obviously going to be a lot more competitors in your local area who want to specialize in this type of niche. So what you have to take into account and what you have to remember is that if you're going to build a business around solely working with female athletes, female soccer players, then you need to find ways to add more value to your program. So what is a number of things that female athletes struggle with that you can help them to get better at and get results? Okay, so at the grassroots level, it might be how to get recruited to play at a pro club. It might be confidence aspects, right? There's a lot of female players out there that, that lack a lot of confidence when it comes to competing and playing, especially that maybe the, the physical side of the game. So you could build a program around helping female athletes to get better technically, so that improves their confidence and it enhances their performances. Okay, so the, the female soccer industry is going to get bigger and bigger, right? It's predicted to get to 1 billion, uh, dollars by 10 years from now right so in the next 10 years there's going to be a lot of investment into the women's game whether that be at the grassroots level 
at the youth level, whether that be at the club level, whether more and more tournaments are going to start popping up. Right, so as I record this video, we've got the, the FIFA Women's World Cup happening in New Zealand and Australia. Okay, that's going to build a lot of attraction, as, especially if you're based in those countries, if you're in Australia, New Zealand, right? This is going to attract a lot of attention and there might be a lot of female players who go to games or watch it through television that thinks to yourself, do you know what, this might be a sport that I want to now look to build a career in. Okay, so those players might then start looking for teams and as they start looking for teams, they start to compete. They might be looking for extra training and that's where you as the private trainer come in looking to offer your services to their parents. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a great program Right, an unbelievable program where it's specific for female soccer players and you're solving a specific problem for those type of athletes. Okay, so again, when I started my business, the problem I solved for a lot of the players I was working with was the confidence and also something I like is the development side. So my business was solely focused on working with beginner and intermediate players and getting them from that level into a, a club team or a pro club. Okay, so my whole business philosophy was built around purely player development, helping players to become better technically, helping players to become better mentally and getting them ready for that competitive edge that you need in order to work, to, to train and play in a club environment. Okay, so for you that, that are looking to, to compete with, sorry, you're looking to train and coach female athletes, right, you can build a business around that same thing, right? You're helping beginner female players, you're helping beginner intermediate level players get to that higher level so that they can now break into uh, club teams and then from there they can move into the pro game and hopefully become professional uh, football players. Or soccer players okay so if you want more help with this type of niche it's a niche that it's going to take off next 10 years there's gonna be a lot of investment as I mentioned not just at the international level where we've got the the Women's World Cup but at the club level as well you're gonna to start to see a lot of what the men do where Real Madrid Chelsea Barcelona where they travel the world and put on these, these, these events, right? The women's game is going to be exactly the same, right? So you're going to have Arsenal women, you're going to have Chelsea women, you're going to have Man City women traveling to these, these up and coming markets, right? So traveling to the US, traveling to China and trying to grow and build the women's game, right? And if they do that and if there's more comp competition if there's more tournaments the popularity is going to get greater which means a lot more female players are going to look to try and get into the club system and if they're in the club system right they might want to look for an extra private trainer to get them up to the next level okay so this type of industry it's going to it's going to get bigger and bigger it's going to grow so if you want to get in contact with me to get more help working with this type of niche, visit the description of the video below. You can get in contact with me a number of ways. You can either book a Zoom call or you can send me an email or connect with me via WhatsApp. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Stay up to date with all the latest content.